Hello my Wiccan friends, my name is Wiccan Mohan and welcome to the channel. On today's video, it's going to be a tag that has been going on for almost a month. So I'm a little bit behind on this tag, So, but I told um, everybody that I was going to make this uh, video related about these tags. So, um, okay, the, Wicca, the, the tag that is going on for almost a month um, the title is a weird witches witchcraft 2019 tag so it's a total of 10 questions so um, since it's been a long time that I haven't done a tag on my channel before so I think I think it's time to make another tag on my channel so um, it's a total of 10 questions I'm gonna answer each and every single one of these questions to the best of my knowledge Okay, so here we go. The first question is animism is part of your spiritual practice? Um, yeah, I consider animism um, part of my spiritual practice is very important in my practice. And since uh, in my opinion, like everything out there for me, um, it has a spirit. So even though if it's a rock, a tree, a flower, anything has a spirit for me so yes i would consider animis, uh, animism part of my spiritual practice okay number two witchcraft if your witchcraft is eclectic what spiritual path practice religion philosophy are the basics of your practice so um yeah since i practice my witchcraft or my wiccan very eclectic way so I um, incorporate many different tradition as well as many different types of uh, religions inside my spiritual Wiccan or witchcraft practice so yeah and I would consider this um, my Wiccan or witchcraft eclectic practice because I incorporate many different um, religions um, philosophy and um, practices from any culture out there and any type of religions out there I incorporate a little bit of each one of them into my Wiccan or witchcraft practice so number three what type of meditation do you practice okay cool I practice like I would say like three times a week I practice like um, guided meditation which um, it's been working for me the best yeah I love um, practicing guided meditation even though that I have my Buddhist shrine and um, like every time every like three times a week I meditate in front of of my Buddhist shrine and yeah so I've been doing this um, for almost all my life yeah so but my the one that I really practice the most is guided meditation so um, number four is your craft realistic in nature or more as spontaneous or intuitive Okay, I would say and spontaneous and intuitive. Yeah, even though that sometimes I practice my practice um, more nature related um, stuff like going out to nature and doing my rituals out there. But this is only in the blue moon, but um, which I like a lot. Every time I do it, I like it a lot. So the, the more um, I would say I practice more in spontaneous and intuitive um practice in my um in my craft. Yep. So um, number five, do you have an altar? If so, what is the overall theme? What sort of item do you keep on it? If no altar, where do you practice most of your working? Okay. Okay, um, I do have my altars. Yeah, I have a total of two altars 
and two shrines or I would say three altars and one shrine my Buddha shrine and three altars I got my ancestral altar I got my um, I would say uh, like uh, Mesa Blanca altar and my regular working altar yeah so um and in most of them I keep um I keep it how it is yeah I never change yeah but only the only one that is constantly changing is my um I would say my working altar yeah my working altar is the one that is constantly changing a lot yeah and I keep in this altar everything that I find in nature anything that it caught it caught my eyes in nature that I found outside in nature so I keep all this stuff in this altar it, and this stuff it means like very important stuff for me even stuff that uh, friends and family main members gave me I keep them in my working altar so yeah but for the meantime this is the only altar that is constantly changing throughout the seasons so okay and it's my working altar okay number six number six what type of divination do you practice most often least often or not at all okay the most divination that I practice most often I would say my oracle card reading yeah I've been using oracle cards like for many years now and even it, it's been working for me yeah and this is the most of my divination um, practice that I do I do it with my oracle cards even though I want to learn so bad um, tarot and all that stuff but um, tarot is a uh, more in-depth um, stuff and a little bit for me in my opinion a little bit complicated so I'm learning I'm learning how to read tarot as well but my most often divination tool in um, my practice it will be oracle cards and the second one it will be pendulum reading and the third one is the room runes um reading yeah but this one I don't use it that often the runes but um the um pendulum and the oracle cards I do use very often okay so yeah okay number seven what five words describe your craft okay I write this down so what five words describe my craft I would say spiritual practical powerful intuitive and divine yeah number eight what is the little the title of the current um or last wishy book do you read or would recommend for anybody out there okay the one that i couldn't read couldn't read reading is um a wishes companion from linwell yeah wishes companion is a very in interesting um book yeah it has uh, many different type um, of topics and all that stuff so um, yeah and uh, also the witches uh, spell a day almanac so I consider these two books um, I, the best and I re will recommend to anybody out there these two books so um, the witches companion and the witches um, spell a spell a day almanac okay number nine what's 
what YouTube um, channels or what YouTube channels or channels you are watching the most frequently okay most frequently I watch many of them but um, I'm gonna give you like a few of them the first one it will be dragon feather yeah as a dragon feather um, this one this one channel I do enjoy it a, a lot and also harmony nice channels um, and also Anais channel and um, lunar wisdom channel and the one that I've been that I've been watching lately most often is um, Jen the taxi Denver witch okay the number 10 if your witchcraft or spiritual practice was a TV series or a movie what would be the title okay the title if my witchcraft or my spiritual practice it was a movie series or movie the title would be my Wiccan journey that would be the title of my practice my Wiccan journey which I have hashtag on it yep so this is it for my um, Wiccan tag I hope that you guys enjoyed it a lot and if you did please feel free to like share and subscribe give a big thumbs up and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my other channel and every link is gonna be below this video feel free to um, uh, follow me on my social media which also the link is gonna be below this video as well Thank you guys for watching, and for the meantime, blessed be, and as always, bye-bye.